What's up guys, in today's video I want to talk about a trending niche that's a little bit under the radar still, but the sales are there to justify that we should be selling shirts in this niche right now. I'm going to tell you what that is, I'm going to tell you when the peak sales date is going to be, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use Creative Fabrica to create multiple good quality designs really quickly. Again, you don't get paid extra for spending, you know, three hours on one design, so why not let it take three minutes instead of three hours? That's always my goal. So anyways, let's get right to it. I went to Google and I looked up what is the date for Mardi Gras in 2023. In my mind, I always thought it was supposed to be in March, but it is in February this year and it is February 21st. So we have just about a month until Mardi Gras. I jumped on over to Podly, which makes it really easy to search what is trending right now. Of course, I started to see the Mardi Gras designs. You can actually type in, you know, Mardi Gras and it will filter out anything that's not Mardi Gras related. So just look at the BSRs here, 40,000, 42,000, 44,000, 55,000. Lots of sales are taking place all the time in this niche. It is one of the more obvious niches. So there's a big benefit if you're able to rank your shirt um, on these primary keywords. I mean, the more generic the keywords get, the better, right? If it's just Mardi Gras shirt and you rank at the top of the page, well, you're gonna be making quite a bit of money that's not that realistic given, you know, just as a function of how many people watch this video, we can't all have a, pay, a shirt on page one, but we can still make sales. The pie in this case is huge for the next month or so. Um, typically, sales will taper off about seven days before the holiday, um, but also people who don't necessarily go to New Orleans to celebrate are still going to be buying shirts, uh, but you would probably anticipate, you know, maybe Louisiana generating most of the sales, but either way. There's a nice, what I like about this niche, there's a nice kind of well-defined way of approaching it, all right? You don't have to design any specific way, but for instance, we noticed the color scheme is pretty consistent across most of these shirts, right? And, you know, just at a minimum, what I notice is there's a lot of black shirts here, right? And there's some gray shirts, but what about a shirt in the color scheme? So why not a purple shirt? Why not a green shirt? Why not a yellow shirt? And then you cater the design elements to that shirt color and you're a little bit different now than everybody else, okay? So I'm just thinking outside the box, but what I really wanted to show you is that the BSRs here are um, quite low. And what I love about Podly too is, look, they also have a BSR 30 metric. So you can um, basically gauge the current BSR of these designs against the 30 day average. And you can see that if it's outperforming the 30 day average, well, clearly that's an indicator of, you know, increased sales velocity right now. So I love that. And I'll link to Podly in the description. You don't have to have Podly to succeed, but it is nice to have a research tool that um, fast forwards the, the whole process. So I went over to Creative Fabrica and said, let's make some designs in the Mardi Gras niche. And I noticed this, like this isn't my typical approach. Okay, so if you want Ryan's method for doing this, I'm being honest, this is not my typical approach, but it never hurts to think outside the box and do something a little bit different that most people aren't doing. Now in the context of Amazon merch, I'm not a fan of just uploading like rectangle <laughs> designs that like very clearly show what portion of the shirt you can print on and what portion of the shirt you can't print on. So in the Amazon merch context, I'm not that big of a fan of this, but I love these graphics. These psychedelic Mardi Gras wallpaper graphics is what the artist um, that made them or, you know, honestly, this looks like it could have been AI art as well, uh, but that's what they're calling them. OK, and I'll link to the Creative Fabrica references in the description, as well as I'll give you my link to join Creative Fabrica and capture their New Year's promo, which is the best deal available right now if you're not already a member. But I know most of you guys probably are, um, but I'll link that at the top of the description. So I took some of these patterns uh, from what I downloaded on that listing, and I'll actually show you them right here in case you want to see them. Um, they are really cool, actually. And I was thinking, like, why not do something with like all over print, maybe? Uh, obviously like there's a lot of print on demand products that we can print on these days. Like the catalogs are, are constantly expanding. So really whatever your imagination tells you to do, you can go try. Um, but I did just want to show you these graphics. They are really nice. And I went ahead and I uploaded it to an all over print dress. Uh, I didn't spend too long trying to optimize it perfectly for the dress because really with all over print, each product that you upload to is going to um, have kind of different ways really each piece of the dress that you see you can upload a different graphic to so you could like you could optimize the skirt portion differently than you optimize the top portion um, there's a back portion so I just wanted to if you've never experimented it's worth looking at uh, either way I'm just thinking outside the box like why not do something differently make it available dif um, it's not going to compete with the generic Mardi Gras t-shirt where we know the search volume is huge 
Um, but why not Mardi Gras dress or like cool Mardi Gras um, dress, something like that. I mean, obviously your keyword research is a separate topic for a separate video, um, but also I like to keep it simple. All right, and we're gonna do some keyword research in just a second, but first I wanted to remind you guys, I have a free print on demand mini course. It's linked in the description and I have a free print on demand Facebook group that I'd love to have you in. If you're not already a member, check it out. All those links are in the description. So I wanna make some designs, all right? Some t-shirt designs. This is really where it's, I would consider it my bread and butter. This is my preference. It's what I'm comfortable with. It's what I make most of my sales with, just standard t-shirts. So why, why recreate the wheel, right? Let's keep it simple. So there's plenty of Creative Fabrica, like creative, um, sorry, Mardi Gras graphics and design elements and you know all over print stuff that you can do like this. Uh, but I went ahead and I downloaded this Mardi Gras clip art bundle and this is what I got right here, okay? So you can see there is a bunch of different elements here that we can use for some Mardi Gras designs. And this is kind of how my brain works, right? I'm thinking along the lines of like there isn't a right or wrong way of doing it, but like some people it's like, okay, figure out what's trending. All right, Mardi Gras. Now I'm going to go do research and see what, what the one Mardi Gras themed shirt I'm going to make is. And then I'm going to find the graphic and cater it to that. Whereas I'm like, okay, let me go find some graphics I like. And then I will cater the design theme to the graphic. Cause to me, a good graphic is going to sell. But if you go in thinking, oh, I want to make this design and you can't find good graphics, you may end up making a bad design and bad designs typically don't sell, but a decent enough design I think um, can sell. So I want to show you like how I'm going to make a couple designs using this clip art. And honestly, I'm going to um, use one of these too, I think. And cause I had this, this idea as I was uh, preparing the video. So I want to, I want to make a quick design using the uh, wallpapers. We'll call them. Um, also what I'm going to use in the designs is another font from creative Fabrica. So when you join, you get a ton of benefits. Um, one of them is access to like, something like a hundred thousand fonts, some absurd font library. Um, in addition to graphics, like the ones that you're going to see me use in this video, but I just did just want to plug that really quickly. Uh, so now let me jump on over to Photoshop here. All right. And you can see the first thing I did was I set the background color to purple. Now I don't sell many purple shirts cause I don't really try to sell that many purple shirts. If we're being honest here, like I understand how Amazon merch works. If you make the color black available, they're going to show the black primary thumbnail. Most of the shirts I sell are black. All right. You guys saw my Amazon merch 2022 video update. I think it was like 50% or 51% uh, right around there of my sales on the year, which was over 15,000 sales were uh, black standard t-shirts. So it is what it is. But like I said, this niche, we know there's a lot of yellow, green, and purple. So why not be a little bit different? and try to sell on a purple shirt, right? That's my working um, idea here anyways. Okay, so I've got the purple background. I've got the circus, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the circus font, right? That I thought fit the Mardi Gras theme. I'll link to that in the description in case you wanna check it out. And now I'm just gonna, again, cater my attempt at designing to the clip art that I have. So, you know, lots of examples of what we can do. We know the mask designs are really popular. Um, the lips and the tongue designs are really popular. How about the jester hat too? I think this is really nice. So why don't I come on over here to Amazon, all right? And I can just type in like Mardi Gras jester hat. And notice there are gonna be Mardi Gras jester hats if I just type that, right? People are gonna be buying and selling these hats themselves, but we already saw in the autocomplete, people are searching for Mardi Gras jester hat shirt, okay? This is a shirt that people are looking to buy. And you can already see people cross-niching it with like unicorns, with the sugar skull, with the crawfish, with flamingos, but I don't have to get that crazy. I said, my goal was kind of just keep it simple and um, work kind of quickly. That is that is more or less how I prefer to work. So why don't I just drag and drop this graphic here? All right, boom, middle of the shirt. Now I'm not gonna be impressing anybody with my graphic design ability, but I don't really make any, like it's like my sales kind of speak for themselves here. I'm not trying to mislead anybody secretly behind the scenes. I'm actually spending five hours per design. No, this is more or less what I'm doing right here. All right, and um, really like, we don't have to get super crazy with our designs. I'm gonna, I don't want this video to go on too long because I feel like the, the, the watch through rate drops off, but anybody who's sticking with me, I'm gonna make it worth your time, okay? If I just say Mardi Gras, right? Then it's gonna be tough to compete here because um, that's such generic keywords, but sometimes it's enough to, I'm gonna duplicate this layer and put a separate text layer down here. All right, Mardi Gras. And then what if I do Mardi Gras 2023, right? Because just by putting 2023 here, 
all of a sudden I'm a little bit, I have less competition on my primary keywords. Okay, just by adding 2023, but it's not that it's in the design that matters, it's that it's also gonna make its way into my product listing that's also really gonna matter. Um, when I, what I mean by that is like, I'll put it in the product title, okay? And it's not like, oh man, now you're gonna make all these sales because you put 2023, but it is something that people will search for. Mardi Gras 2023 as a search term is not gonna be handled the exact same by Amazon search algorithm as just Mardi Gras, right? Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras 2023. Their algorithm also obviously knows like when listings were submitted and they do cycle in and out newer listings that they think are related to the search query because they don't want their catalog feeling stale for their Amazon customers. So I'm saying assist it in understanding that, hey, like, because I mean, the, the algorithm doesn't know what's in the design, okay? So it doesn't know that it's a gesture hat. I mean, the AI does read our text. I'm pretty sure of that these days. I don't know when they added that for sure, but so it'll read Mardi Gras 2023 if it can recognize the font, which it probably can. But just putting the 2023 in the title is at least gonna give you a little bit of a chance. So if I'm doing my title, I'll say something like um, Mardi Gras jester hat, comma, Mardi Gras 2023. Okay, so Mardi Gras jester hat, Mardi Gras 2023, and then it's gonna append the word shirt if it's Amazon merch, okay? So Mardi Gras jester hat shirt, Mardi Gras 2023 shirt, okay? And if it's not Amazon merch, you can put the word shirt in multiple times. Obviously, if it's Amazon merch, they're gonna insert the product type at the end. So hopefully you guys get what I'm saying to do here. It's nothing's guaranteed. I can't guarantee you sales. If it was that easy, man, we'd all be so rich, right? But this is giving us a chance. And notice, it's a purple shirt. We noticed when we did a bunch of, um, when we did the Podly research, there were no purple shirts. Now, I might, if I'm being honest, like with this design, do something like blending options. This isn't something I normally do. Um, Cause I, anyways, it's a different video. I'll save that for a different video. But you can do something like um, a drop shadow. And if I'm ever gonna do a drop shadow on text or anything like that for print on demand, which it's so rare that I do, but I actually think it may work for this design specifically. I'm doing something like angle 90 degrees, so it's straight top down, and I'm doing spread uh, 1% or 0%, size 0, and then I just do distance, okay? And I don't want it to be like too much detracting from the actual design itself, but I feel like if it, you know, if it looks okay, I'm willing to do it. But this is something that I, if you guys watch most of my videos that I release, um, I do, when I'm doing like Redbubble shop reviews, Etsy shop reviews, you'll hear me saying, oh, you know, I don't like this design because I think it's optimized for like internet graphics as opposed to optimized to be printed on a t-shirt. But I think something that's like a subtle drop shadow sometimes is okay. Like in this case, the white text was, I felt like blending in too much with the color purple here. And that's the purple swatch that I got from Merch by Amazon. So I'm assuming it's accurate in terms of the color purple shirt that they're gonna print on. Even though when you click it, the mock-up is actually a little bit more of a deeper purple. So the drop shadow may, may not even be necessary. All right, but you can, again, we just did the jester hat and it's Mardi Gras jester hat, comma, Mardi Gras 2023, and then it appends the word shirt. Okay, boom, turn off the jester hat. And then now come back over here, Mardi Gras 2023, boom, we can do the Louisiana now, okay? And then your keyword, you just swap out jester hat with Louisiana. You just made another design, all right? Yes, it can, it can honestly be this simple, guys. It doesn't have to be this crazy. Uh, you can do the lips. Now, honestly, if I'm selling this, I'm probably gonna, just given how the graphic is more vertical than, than wide, I'd probably rearrange the text a little bit, but you don't wanna ruin the design by making it asymmetric and not executing it well. So typically, I just keep things symmetrical because it's, <laughs> it's a lot harder to mess up. Let's just put it that way. It's a lot harder to do something wrong by keeping it symmetrical. Um, if I wanna do the crawfish here, I can add it to the design, but then look at this, I can just rotate it, all right? And then it fits my design uh, orientation, the space I have available uh, a little bit better. So boom, Mardi Gras 2023, and it's the Mardi Gras crawfish, comma, Mardi Gras 2023. You see what we're doing here? This is giving us a real chance at making sales. Obviously, anything you can do to guarantee visibility, like ads, that's also gonna help, but it's never required to succeed. Now, I'm gonna turn off the graphics, because I think I, I made that point hopefully well enough. All right, I'm gonna make it a text only design. I'm going to clear the drop shadow and I'm going to, with all the layers selected, just make it big, all right? I'm not afraid to go big with my designs. Um, it may look dumb when it's printed on a shirt, but when it's in a, a thumbnail on Amazon, I think it can look pretty good. All right, that's really big, but either way. All right, now I'm gonna combine these and I'm, I'm, I realize I'm blocking this on the uh, video. I'm gonna combine these text layers into a single layer by going to merge layers. Now I'm gonna go back to where we had the 
um, cool like wallpapers. I think we said we were going to call them. Let's just choose one. All right, let's choose one. Uh, one that is going to look good. Um, I don't know. How about this one? I feel like you can't go wrong. That's like the most colorful, just crazy design. All right, and we're going to do that right there. All right, we just fit it to the design area. Now I'm going to position this layer right above our text layer. Okay, so our text layer right here, I'm going to position it right above it on the Photoshop layers, and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to say create clipping mask. All right, and then maybe I'll also not plan on doing this on a purple shirt. Maybe we'll do it on like a white shirt because I don't think purple looks that great. Um, all right, I'm not in love with this design, but I just wanted to show you the clipping mask aspect. The clipping mask aspect. Um, given that that design is so crazy with so many different colors, I don't know that this is like, you know, that great of a of a design. But that being said, clipping masks are a simple way of doing something that's a little bit outside the box. It's a little bit um, against the grain relative to what you typically see in amongst the best selling shirts in any niche. And that's what's cool about doing the clipping masks like you just saw me. You can do the clipping mask on text and make a text only design and you can enter really any niche, any niche. Like this is the Mardi Gras example. The Mardi Gras known for its colors and its, you know, Louisiana flavor um, may not be the best example because I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of what we see behind me here. Um, but that being said, I still do think that um, you can you can definitely make some sales using a clipping mask. So I wanted to share that before I sign off for this video. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to remind you, I have a full print on demand course that you can learn more about using the link in the description. It teaches you my full process, design, research, um, optimizing your entire print on demand business on a per platform basis, Amazon, Etsy, um, Redbubble, working on the Walmart module now. Uh, so if you wanna learn more about that, guys, the link is in the description. When you join, you get access to all future content as well. So when I add Walmart, you'll get access to Walmart as soon as it's live. And I have a private community where I go live once a week for a live stream and I do office hours once a week every week. So it's the easiest way to get access to me and help me help you. If you're interested, there's a 40% off code in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.